Hello and welcome back to another video on Crazy Rove Studios. In this video, we will be looking at redeploying a vProxy using the NMUI, which is the Networker GUI, which is one of the new features in Networker 19.3. The redeployment of vProxy can be done either using the CLI or via the Networker GUI. The CLI command equivalent is NSR vProxy underscore MGMT and is supported I think as of 19.1 or 19.2. I'm not really sure about those versions, one of the two. But uh, starting with 19.3, redeployment of vProxy is supported via the Networker GUI as well. So let's go ahead and look at the redeployment process or what exactly happens during the redeployment process. So first the vProxy is unregistered from the networker server after which the original vProxy is powered off in the vCenter. It disconnects all the network connections to the vProxy as well. It then renames the vProxy to a temporary name uh, with the timestamp preceding the name of the, v, uh, the VM for the vProxy in the vCenter. Then it resets the MAC address of all the network adapters of the original vProxy and the original vProxy address is then assigned to the deployed vProxy. The redeployed vProxy is with the same configuration as that of the original vProxy with the latest OVA and is uh, powered on. On a successful redeployment, the original vProxy is deleted and the updated vProxy is registered on Networker server. If in case there is a redeployment failure, the command performs a rollback, reverts to, re reverts to the original vProxy configuration and registers the old vProxy back to Networker server. So if in case there is also a failure in redeployment, you don't need not worry, the rollback is done automatically and there is no intervention that is required. So in order to deploy a vProxy, uh, there is mainly one prerequisite, which is to place the new vProxy OVA on the networker server that is shown in the slide. So the location here would be the installation location which on Windows would be C program files EMC networker and on um, Linux on it would generally be the root location so you will have to place the new OVA under NSR you would however have to create the folders vProxy and the nesting folder OVAs because this will not be created automatically so create the folder uh, vProxy underscore OVA and another folder inside that folder and name it v -OV OVAs and place the new OVA that you want to be deployed under that particular folder. Only when the OVA is kept under this location the OVA will be detected for the redeployment process. Uh, the vProxy redeployment however has a few limitations. Now let's take a look at them. So concurrent vProxy deployment is not supported using CLI or NMUI. However, you can subsequently redeploy multiple uh, vProxies using a script. That is using the NSR vProxy MGMT command to uh, redeploy the OVA. Uh, the vProxy deployment is not supported for vProxies that are directly deployed in the ESXi by passing the vCenter. So if you have used uh, if you have not used the vCenter for the deployment of the vProxy, then again you will not be able to use the redeployment uh, feature of uh, Networker either. Then you would have to manually deploy the vProxy. The root and the admin password length of the vProxy should be between 8 and 20 characters only. So before redeployment, you must change the root and admin password and update the vProxy resource in Networker with the updated vProxy admin password. And last, you cannot deploy a vProxy. You can only redeploy or replace an existing vProxy. Let's now take a look at the OVA file that I have. So this is the location of my installation, for, installation folder. And if I look inside this, I we can find the OVA file for the vProxy, which is version 4.2.0. The version on my networker server is 
or the version of vProxy on currently registered is 202 and now let's go ahead and log in into the networker GUI for this use the IP address of your networker server with the port 1990 it has to be HTTPS and then it also has to have an WUI at the end so let's put in our credentials login and the vProxy is under protection and VMware vProxies we will see the vProxy here redeploying is pretty simple you have just got to select the vProxy that you want to uh, deploy or redeploy select redeploy and again which configuration you want to take forward you can mention a description here you, this is um, under description uh, the delay is the amount of time that uh, the de redeployment process can wait in case there are any active sessions that are uh, tied to this particular vProxy debug level is for troubleshooting so if in case your um, deployment fails you can increase the debug to troubleshoot next is the root password option so you can either use the existing admin password as both as the admin password as well as the root admin uh, root password or you can give a new root password here so i'm going to stick to this and then when you hit finish it is asking you if you want to go ahead with the redeployment which is going to delete the original vProxy obviously because it is a replacement of your vProxy do you want to continue and I say yes the deployment process can be monitored here and also you can monitor on the log so let's look at the different logs that we can look at so if for the logs you can go to NSR logs and you will find a folder called ad hoc which is this right here go into ad hoc and uh, it is going to have another folder for NSRV proxy management and within that you have the different uh, inside this you have the different uh, logs that are related to your redeployment so if I do it via time so these are the current this is the current log that is going on let's take a look so it will tell that again on the back end if you could see in the log here it does run the NSRV proxy management redeploy command and uh, you can also run this manually if in case required then the logs related to the NSR EISD are under slash opt nsr v proxy logs and nsr id so if i do nls minus ltr oh i have to go to that path and this is the logs related to the uh, networker integration with vCenter and let's see what's happening right now so uh, it is trying to do something here not really sure so I think by this time it might have already unregistered and deleted the vProxy from the networker no it has just uh, disabled it it's not yet deleted it you can also look at the current status of the log under the running job here or running task if you go and click on the three dots on the left hand side and click on my uh, the on messages you'll see that it has disabled that was the last thing done and you can also 
uh, get the entire logs here when you click on full logs but my browser doesn't support that so I'm unable to get that part so let's see what it is doing All right, let's wait for the deployment to complete. Uh, I'll pause the video here and get back to you once, once it is completed. So if you see here on the logs, you will see that it has powered off the virtual machine and one NVP. It has reconfigured the virtual machine. It has deployed an OVF template, reconfigured it. Uh, I assume it has, uh, it had renamed it, uh, the old one to this version and it has actually deleted the old NVP as well. So our deployment process should well be completed now. It's running a few last errands I assume. Let's, let's take a look on the NMC, what's happening. Alright, it's actually trying to register the vproxy but it is not able to do that let's try again let's see let's wait for that so while we wait let me take uh, take you to the logs and show you what exactly we have there so nsr logs and ad hoc NSR management ls minus ltr so this is the session log if I give it a cat and if you see here at the end it has successfully completed redeployment so you will see all the steps that we had um, talked about earlier uh, being mentioned in the log Let's give it a couple of more minutes. And you'll see here that it is trying to register the, the, the new vProxy again. Initial, initiating registration. And now the registration has completed successfully. When I refresh my screen, I can now see that the new version of uh, v proxy is 4.2 so this was a quick demonstration on how to redeploy your uh, v proxy so again this can be done using the command line as well with 19.2 thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.